biggest thing about the U of T Drama Festival for me is that it was the first place that I got to really direct. It was my first time really taking a swing at directing theater, which eventually became what I do. It meant so much to me to have a place to try making art and directing plays that wasn't for a class. We didn't have the pressure of being graded or you know, evaluated by an instructor, but we still had the support of being in school. Um, so when I think about the drama festival or if someone mentions it to me, uh, yeah, I think it's just, uh, I mean, it's a hodgepodge of experiences for me personally, um, but I think that's what's really exciting and sort of reflective of the festival as a whole is just like all these, you know, people from all over campus and different, different theater groups with different backgrounds and resources um, sort of coming together in this common space. The Drama Festival was the place that I first designed lights. It's a place that I first directed. It's a place that I first organized a large event. So I think it's a really great low stakes place with a lot of support from a lot of wonderful staff and alumni to help you develop your own voice and the voices of others. Whenever people ask me about it, um, I always mention that, you know, it's just an amazing place for you to be able to put up your work because you don't know what will come out of it. And um, if you put in that work into the drama festival and use that as the platform for your, like use that to your advantage as a platform, who knows what you'll be able to do with your work after that. I remember the feelings of community and the feelings, again, of, of risk-taking that that festival demanded. So much courage and so much collaboration. And I think those values are so central for young people. Uh, who are learning to be theater makers in this country. Something I learned during my time working at the University of Toronto Drama Festival uh, was definitely time management skills, if nothing else. It gave me a platform to showcase my work for the first time and also allowed me to kind of be confident in um, my ability to do this as a career. Um, currently, I'm in London working as a freelance playwright or a scriptwriter, and um, I definitely wouldn't have had the confidence to pursue this line of work if it hadn't been for the U of T Drama Festival. The fact that you get to be adjudicated by like a professional artist is, is really awesome too, because you get that professional feedback. Um, something I learned uh, through the festival, I, um, I was the president of the coalition for two years of the festival and sort of uh, uh, ran the, the coalition organizing and administrating, facilitating the festival. And I think um, that was a, a fantastic experience kind of leading individuals and uh, learning to be a little more organized myself, but also uh, managing a small team. And that's a, a lot of what I do now. I'm now a self-employed lawyer working with, uh, with three law clerks and kind of managing a small team. So I think a lot of those, those skills that I developed over uh, two years on the, the coalition organizing the, the festival and other projects certainly translates to, uh, to what I do now every day. Just making it up as you go along, and that's all part of what the festival is, is kind of learning by doing and, um, and then having the opportunity when it's done or as you're going through it to see, oh, um, I could have done that differently. The impact that the U of T Drama Fest had on me was that it was at Drama Fest, my very first one in 2013, that I realized that stage management wasn't just a, a hobby. It was something that I wanted to become really good at. I wanted to make it a career and that I could be good at it. It's where I became very hungry to, to learn more and eager to be a part of more events like the U of T Drama Fest. The fact that each show is pulled off successfully is really a feat in itself. Uh, and even though the Drama Festival isn't happening on stage, um, you're still going to be adjudicated by a theater professional and the experience is going to be just as amazing and like it's just as much of a feat. I think everyone should be proud and, and the festival should be celebrated because it exists. In 2015, I was a playwright for a play called Some Counter Space, which was actually my first play I ever wrote. It's really fond memories of being in Doug's office you know, forming that coalition, um, everyone spending our afternoons together, coming up with ways we can make it better, and, and the dog running around, and um, really just building some great friendships, and, and um, you know, that sense of, of excitement and being part of something. 